that's alive and it's manicures with living ants inside the nails Ooh, guys oh look at them moving went viral on the internet oh animal cruelty didn't even think of that part so i'm thinking that this manicure doesn't hurt the ants oh my gosh Ninety dollars. Who is gonna pay? I just sound like an owl there, but who is gonna pay ninety dollars to get ants in their nails? Not me. I'll just take a regular manicure, please. That is crazy. Live ants. Who thought of this idea? Who goes around and they just see an ant crawling on the floor and they're like, hmm, that would look good in the nail. Yeah, that's not for me. <laughs> I would not be paying ninety dollars to get ants put inside my nails. And they mentioned animal cruelty, which makes sense. Like, I don't think the ants like being in there either. What is that? Here? Uh, okay. <laughs> is, is that a fish? Is that are you just gonna kill the fish? Oh my gosh, a fish! Is it dead? It's still moving. I don't approve of this. Okay, not. A... Okay, the fish is fine. Okay, he lives. <laughs> I know. I just said the ant one was gross, but this one's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's the whole like aquatic looking nail like you have the blue it looks like it's like swimming in the water it has little like gemstone colors like I like this one this one's cute but the fish looks like it's dead which is not good but it's not it's living so that I guess so long as it's not in there for too long it's okay I don't know if I would uh make this my first choice but it wouldn't be my last it's not as bad as the ants hey guys welcome back to kickback and react I'm your host court and today we are talking about live insects in nail art. Yeah, I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be scorpion. encapsulating a real scorpion. Say what? Yes, a you heard scorpion. that right. A real a freaking scorpion. Ah, I can't believe this. I can't and pressing either. him into place, and I'll also be using more nail glue later on to sort of fix his legs oh and his tail and get them to stay in place and everything. <gasps> Okay, so I'm thinking he's like dead during this process because he's not moving, but holy crap, guys. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, you see his little like tail and everything and his little legs sticking out. Ugh. Not a fan of this one. <laughs> I would not have a scorpion in my nail. And it looks like she like indented the nail and like to make room for him. Yeah, this wouldn't be my, uh, my favorite style, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like a conversation piece. Like if you're out at a party, be like, hey, everyone, look at my scorpion. Nails. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, who else can say they have scorpion nails? I've never met per someone who actually, like, has them done. If you want to get some attention, scorpion nails the way to go. What do we got here? Flies! Ew. Ew, the mosquitoes! I think it's a mosquito. Ew, its little leg broke off! <laughs> Ew, its little legs are broken! Ew! No thanks. <laughs> I do not like that one. And it's like a weird like yellow color too. It kind of looks like it's like stuck in rosin. Like I remember going to like the AGO, which is like an art gallery of Ontario. And uh, they have bugs stuck in rosin and it's kind of like from like back in the day and whatever. And it's like their skeletons and stuff. But this is like, ew. <laughs> like who would want, no one wants mosquitoes around. Let's be honest. Like. No one likes mosquitoes. And then to put them in your nail, like what's the point? No one's gonna be impressed by this. This is not no scorpion nail, okay? This is, this is, no, this is just no. What do we have here? Wings! Oh, a bunch of wings. So I kinda thought this was a little cool until I saw the monarch nail. I'm like, oh my God, I could just imagine them like getting the butterflies and then ripping off its wing. Like, I don't like that, that's not nice. Like for some reason, the big wing, which might be like a dragonfly wing, I'm thinking, that didn't make my mind go there. But when I saw the monarch wing, my mind went there. I'm like, oh my God, they're taking these little bugs and ripping off their wings just for a nail design. Not cool guys like it is a cool design i'm not gonna lie like i've never seen this before and it's like an interesting pattern but the fact that they had to decapitate these beautiful winged creatures I'm not okay with that i'll pass on this design she sanitizes the critter oh it's a ladybug no and places them on a thin layer of the acrylic 
then it gets covered with a thicker layer. Mm. Suffocating it. The acrylic keeps the critter from decomposing. Ladybugs are beautiful creatures, okay? And this person just got a ladybug and decided to drown it in acrylic nail polish and jewelry nail things, glitter. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. And you know what they say? You can tell how old a ladybug is by counting the spots on it. So let's see how old this ladybug was. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This was a 16 year old, had so much more life to live and it just had to be killed to be part of this nail design. Like, I don't like this. <laughs> like if you want to draw on a cute little ladybug, sure, why not? That's fine. But to put an actual ladybug in your nail, like that just seems like animal cruelty to me. Like with the ants, they said it was animal cruelty. I know this ladybug is no longer living, but like it was 16. I had so much more life to live. I don't know how people do this. Ooh. Oh, this is my least favorite. Oh, there's more than one. There's a spider and now we're on a seahorse. The spider, I'm not a fan of. I don't know if you guys remember previous videos. I say my detest for the spider. I hate spiders. Not one of my favorite critters. Let's just keep it like that. But even still, I don't think it deserved to like be in a nail design. Like it deserves to live on its life, go in its little, little web and live its life. And the seahorse, that just, I feel like that seahorse has already passed on. It's lived its life. And it was like, just like the skeleton or something. That's what I'm gonna tell myself, even if it's not true. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of brutal. Like spot. I can't even talk, I don't know what to say. Spider nails, like why would someone want a spider in their nail? Like they're not cute. That doesn't look good. That's gonna creep people out. Like for Halloween, maybe, but that's about the only time I could think it's okay. And then the seahorse, like yeah, that's beautiful. If it's the seahorse is already passed on and like they were either gonna just let it float in the sea or be on a nail, you know, then it's, then it's fine. <laughs> and there you guys have it. That is our list. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. We're doing live in like nailer and it's so hot. So I might be like listening a little bit. I had to turn my fan off because it was making too much noise while I was filming. So it's gonna be hot. Claudia, if you could feel the heat in here. <laughs> I'm gonna be glistening, oh my gosh. Why is it so hot, Toronto? I feel like I'm in the desert. Oh no, I got a hole in this. I just realized when I was filming. Okay. All right, three, two, one. And it lagged. <laughs> of course it did. Why would it? <laughs>